What's good, my boy? Splash here. Today's video, we will be doing the center tier list. I didn't add, obviously, Chris Bosh or Chris Webb or Alonzo Mourning because I just don't think they play and they must from the most recent drop. Other than that, we finna get straight into it. So we got S, A, B, C, D. As usual, I don't put usually, unless there are like two indefinite best spots, like with PGs, you saw I put D-Book and Luka in S tier because D-Book is indefinitely the best offensive player on the game. And Luka's the indefinite point guard position, like person who should be holding that spot at the moment. Yes, a man, etc. came out, but you live with that. Uh, I usually put two in S. I usually put about four in A. If you're just a regular player that could play there, but it's you're not going to do too much. Or sell the game, you might go see D is just complete trash bag, etc. So... Come on, first we're going to do Anthony Davis. I'll put Anthony Davis in B because I do think he can still play center as of right now. I think the only thing he's missing is the fact that I think he doesn't have clamps. And I think he's missing, uh, what is he missing? It might be a uh, challenger. It's not challenger. It's something else he's missing for um, him to be playing the five right now. Oh, yeah, he doesn't have, um, one second, let me switch to P5. Yeah, he don't got like a, a lot of the big men nowadays are getting like right stick and glove and fast feet in case you switch him out. He doesn't really have fast feet, so he's not going to be shifting his feet as good as another person would. But I think Anthony Davis could still play the five as of right now, especially if you don't have the best team. Next, we got Sin Goon. I'll be putting Sin Goon also in B. I like his shot, I think he's pretty decent. I wish his defense was a little bit better. And also his physicals, I wish they were also a little bit better. But other than that, you know, I like him. <clears throat> like. I, I like Sengun a lot. Artist Gilmore is a complete trash bag. Um, for him to be a reward in that season as we were getting diamonds and pink diamonds weren't coming and we were still getting M rewards is ridiculous. That is disrespectful. Next, we have Chet. Chet is going to be a A tier center, but he would obviously be an S tier power forward. The reason I'm going to say he's an A tier center is because when he's by himself, it's a lot harder to get his rebounds. Um, he's not as... Okay, so you know like if you're running Wimby, right? and somebody switches a uh, Gary Payton onto him. Sometimes you can just go up with your eyes closed and it'll still be a bucket. With Chet, it doesn't always let you get like that bailout go up. Obviously on paper, Chet's better than Wimby, but like, I just don't think that he's like the actual better center option. I just think he's really good at the four. You gotta really have some thumbs to play him at the five, I believe. Next we got D-Rob. D-Rob is really close to being S-tier with the way a lot of you guys use him. Um, if you are really relying on a pop since Porzingis doesn't have a card yet, if you're just gonna spam the pop to D-Rob, like, I'm telling you, like, when D-Rob's in the game, you're almost, oh, like, gonna have free rim runs because, like, they don't, you, you're not supposed to give up D-Rob anything open. You don't wanna give his, you don't wanna give up his pop, you don't wanna give up anything because, like, when you do, it's that annoying because that, that's how crazy he be moving. He be he literally be moving crazy. So like if, when he gets his power four card, I 100% think he'll be uh especially if he gets limitless too. I think he'll just be holding on to that spot by himself. Next we got DeAndre Aiden. I'm gonna put DeAndre Aiden in C. I should put him in D because he stinks in real life. Yeah, I'm gonna put him in D because he stinks in real life. We we'll don't even care about his car. Next we got Boogie. Boogie is a C. Um, just decent. Not a complete trash can, but you shouldn't be playing him at the five. Next we got Zikembe Mushumbo. Zikembe Mushumbo. After Evo, I think he's, like, got B-tier potential, but I just think he's a C. I just don't think. I just think by now you should already have one of the 1,000 other big men on the game, and I am just so not fond of his shot. Like, I really despise his shot. Like, it just kind of is what it is. Uh, You probably could stick him in B if you that's what you want to do. I'm just not really a fan of him. Next, we got Dirk. Dirk is also a C. After the Evo, though, like, I watched my guy July Glow. Shout out to my dog. He be moving with him. Somehow, some way, he gonna make it out the hood someday with Dirk. So after the Evo, I do think Dirk is good. I wish his defensive stats were a little bit better, but once again, that's one of these like I wouldn't even say fully skilled up cars. Just if you put him at the five, that's just you. The rest of your lineup gonna probably have to make up for where he falters at. So that's just the only thing. Sabonis will also go in D. Um, just nothing to really write home about. Um, let me look at D12 real quick because I don't even know. I didn't even know D12 had a card for real. Um, evolution. Oh, he has a 25 3 inside center. Yeah, it's just a little bit too late for that. So we'll just be putting him in D as well. Um, next we'll be going Evan Mobley. Now, this one is really hard to me because I think he's really good at the four, but at the five, I think he's just like decent. But I ended up putting Dikembe in C. I know a lot of you guys like Dikembe. I think Evan Mobley's defensive animations are unmatched, like, especially with the length he has on the court and the way his player build is set up. Like, 
He plays such good defense. He has normal fade in case you want to put the ball on the ground and try to get one. His only flaw is how slow his shot is. The Kind of the same thing with Dikembe Mutombo, but he doesn't get as blessed defensive animations as Evan Mobley does, especially AI-wise. It's just his his shot is his literal only flaw. Like Dikembe, you know, he kind of can't put the ball on the ground. He kind of can't do this. Evan Mobley literally is one of those cards that's just that good, but he just got to, you know, get a better shot. Next, we got Greek. Greek will be the first person I'm putting in S. When he got the 99 steal at the 5, 99 standing dunk, 95 driving dunk, and a 99 free throw, his car almost has no flaws because I'm sure almost everybody watching this, we all can shoot with Greek. Every single one of us can shoot with Greek. And since since that, like, then there's no point in us. We don't, we don't really have anything, like, we're talking about at that point, like, Greek gets the best defensive animations on the game. He gets probably top three rebound animations after what maybe Wilt, Shaq, Kareem, and a few other centers that don't even have top tier cards right now anymore. Um, he can switch out on the perimeter and play play ball. He can switch out on the center and play the center. He can switch out to the coach and guard the coach. He can guard the bench. He can guard the court while sitting on the bench. I mean, I just think Greek's car is just outrageous this year as long as you can shoot with him because he will end up getting a lot of shots. If, if he's like... Let's say they give you three shots and you go three for three. Like, your offense is so much better because Greek can put the ball on the ground. You can kind of run the offense with Greek, amongst other things. Like, that's amazing. Next, we got Grego. And I think Greg Oden is a C. I don't think he's like Dikembe Mutombo's level, but, like, Greg Oden is just decent. He does have max rebound, max standard dunk, but I just think, like, they did him bogus. Next, we got Kemos. I think Kemos is a B. Um, Kemos and AD, I feel like, are in kind of the same bracket. Um, just Kemos can get every badge. Kemos is literally Anthony Davis is if, if Anthony Davis get every badge. But Kemos could dribble as well, though. So, like, that's the only thing I say about it. Kemos is nice, though. Um, Sigma, I think Sigma's just, like, uh, they, like, cruised his physicals, if I'm not um, mistaken. Like, I think they just, like, ignored one of his, um, one of his, uh, physicals. Yeah, they just gave him, like, 49 acceleration for no reason. Like... His passing should be a little bit better. I, I do think he's just like a good car, but I just think like they could have made him so much better. Um, So I'll just be putting him in C. Usable, yes, but I just don't think he's on the level of a few of those other cards. Um, Next, we got Embiid. Um, I think Embiid is a B. I, I think both Embiid's are a B at the five right now. Like, I don't think it's um really anything different. I think they're capped out on too many badges. Most of the other people they're comparing to are supposed to be compared to have 90 standing or 95 driving or higher. Like, Chet has 99 standing dunk already. Giannis got 99 standing dunk. D-Rob got dang near the best big man shot on the game. Like, I think uh, Embiid's, I, I think he's good. I think he's bulky. I think he plays defense. I just think it's just like, I just think it's better center options. There's no knock to him. I just think it's way better center options. Um, Next we got, next we got Kareem. Ramos, I'm just putting here off the pure strength of how good he is player build wise. He almost gives me Giannis with um the defensive animations and rebound animations he gets, even his mashing as well. Like, if you know how to really get gritty down there, when Kareem especially gets his new car, he's gonna probably be S tier. Because with his 63 ball, you could shoot with it. His shot is really easy. You could shoot with it like it's like 86. Kareem is really good. He just needs a new car to be updated. Next we have Kenya. I'm not gonna like this. I'm going to be putting Cat in A. Now, the reason I'm going to be putting Cat in A is because of his badge count. Now, let me, let me just show y'all because y'all going to skip to the end of the tier list and be like, what? Cat's in A and so-and-so's in B. And, like, he, like, okay, we're going to count off how many of the centers right now have or can get Hoff Limitless. Giannis can't get it. D-Rob can't get it. Chet has it. Cat has it. AD can't get it. Hakeem can get it. Sengun, Karim, Evan Mobley, Joel Embiid. Jack can't get it. Dirk, I believe, Dirk has it. Um, Greg Oden, DeMarcus Cousins, the Kimmy Mutombo artist, Dwight Sabon, and, and like Hall of Fame Limitless right now. Guards, some guards that are in the starting lineups don't have. Dr. J doesn't even have Huff Limitless. Like having Huff Limitless, especially with how your team waltzes up the court this year, is amazing. Like when I say amazing, I truly mean that is like amazing. I think Cat is like crazy at the four right now. Five. It, 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 like even even at the five too like i think him at the four and the five i think he is so good especially if you like let's say you play cat at the five Giannis at the four or like you switch it around because it's still technically the same thing like well let's say you play cat at the five chet at the four like i think you got full usage from the offensive level at your at your center position you feel me like that's crazy 
Especially what they did for him badge-wise. And thing is, he should have got another card. This is off one card. He should have got another card. So imagine if he did get another card. But that's why I like him. Like, you don't even got to give him no extra badges. He already come with him. Um, next, we got KG. KG going to be kind of right next to Hakeem. They like the same person with a different jump shot. KG a little better defense. Hakeem can put the ball on the ground a little better. Um, I like KG, especially if you still got him. Um, next, we got Kwame. Kwame is really supposed to be A off his potential, but he's, like, missing a few D badges. So I'm going to put him at the tip of B. The reason I'm going to put him at the tip of B is because even with him having as good of a jump shot as he does, he's missing so many key badges for you to want to play him at the five. Like, not having Bulldozer. Uh, actually, I do think he does have Bulldozer. I think this never got updated. I actually think this never got updated. So, I, he actually might have it in game. The, I, I do know that he doesn't have, uh, he's not allowed to get all of these shooting badges or all of those playmaking badges. I do know that, but on the defensive end, missing Challenger right now, missing Clamps right now, missing Fast Feet right now, not even being able to get a fluke with Glover, right stick Ripper while still having an 85 steal. Like, things of that nature are kind of just putting him, I'm sorry, putting him more towards B. A potential, you feel me? Like, A, a tier potential, but like a B tier center. Now, an A tier power forward, but a B tier center. You feel me? Next, we got Jokic. Jokic's card is doo doo, doo doo water. Um, next you got Patrick Ewan. Patty's like the Kimbe Matumbo with better stats, better badges. So like, you feel me? You would put him right next to the Kimbe Mutumbo. Hibbert, Hibbert also goes in C. Give him anything but Brook Lopez, he probably would be an A-tier center. Give him literally any shot on the game except Brook Lopez, and he'd probably be an A-tier center. Next we got Rude D. Shaq. Shaq, I'll just put him in C just because he's Shaq. Um... Honestly, all of the inside centers kind of shouldn't be playing no more. It's nothing against them. I still think they get gritty. And the way the, the meta of the one thing I'll tell you, the meta of the game right now is switch all defense. When Shaq, Kareem, and like will get their cards, switch all won't be as good as it is because you'll be able to make another lineup in which you can abuse that. Um, because Wimby be kind of, you know what, sometimes. We got Tim Duncan at the five. I think Tim Duncan like a calm B. I think he like a. Evan Mobley with a smaller player build, but better stats and better badges. Um, next, we got Wimby. Wimby is the best card on the game, no matter what you want to say. Are there centers that can compete with him? Like, yes, you can put D-Rob in and D-Rob will compete with Wimby. Giannis will outdo Wimby. Chet will outdo Wimby. But, like, Wimby is 7'5". He almost does it for you on the defensive end every single time. He has a 93 ball. He can put the ball on the ground. He has normal fade, and we still have some guards that don't have normal fade. Like, Luka doesn't even have normal fade. Luka has basic. Like, his version of basic, but he has basic. Like, Wimby just, at the moment, is the best card on the game. Like, he 100% should have a spot in your 1 through 10. Even at the competitive level, some people are kind of moving a little bit away from him just because of, like, his inability to just perform in certain smaller situations, but like Wimby is crazy, and that 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 is your center until we get another center. His height, we have double Ray Hibber right here. That Shaq also goes in D tier, and oh, these these are two different Tim Duncan's. That Tim Duncan will go there. Um, that's the tier list though. If you guys have any questions or want to compare anybody, make sure you drop it down below, and please don't just skip to the end and then like. Well, Kwame Brown is better than D Rob, so how's D Rob at A? And I explain every single thing and every single player I put out into every single spot. Just go back to when it looked like I put him in and just look at it. I love every single one of y'all, though. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. Stop by the Twitch Splashy. Stop by the Twitter. Turn on notice. DM me your comment on any of my posts with any questions. Make sure you have a blessed day. I'm out. Peace.